Alright, I finally made it back. Markarth, I've returned. It's ridiculous how far out I had to go to uh, get the freaking silver mold. Basically, like, think about it. I literally had to go back to the beginning of the game because Pine Watch is right around the corner from where you get out of the uh, on, Helgen dungeon. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. I work silver, like my father, and his father before him. My wife Kira runs our jewelry stall in the market. I know, Endon. And that stall is going to be working out a whole lot better now that I got your mold back for you. Here. You've more than proven that the Thieves' Guild is back on its feet in our city, and earned every bit of your reward. Tell Delvin that he can count on me to provide the influence around here with the right people when he needs it. If you're ever looking to sell any illegally obtained merchandise, I'd also provide my services as a fence. It's the least I can do. If you're willing to be a fence, that must mean business is pretty good. Business is absolutely booming, my friend. I've taken to hiring a few extra men of my own just to keep up with all the shipments. Old Delvin certainly takes care of his own, doesn't he? That he does. On the note of taking care of your own, though, if you're willing to do business, then let's get down to business. What'll you give me for these? Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Okay. It's one long trip after another. Jeez. First I have to walk all the way from basically Falkreath to uh, 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 Markarth, and then from Markarth to... That Imperial Guard, he is... That Imperial Soldier is super, super precar... He's cautious about that wall. It's dangerous. Fell over on his grandma one day. Killed her. Took his whole family out in one single go. <laughs> no matter that Grandpa was the one who was drunk stumbling and he fell up against the wall before it fell over, but I mean, hey. You can never be careful. Those walls, what do you they want? fall right over on you. Something to that effect. I don't know, I'm... I'm gassing. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, have a chat with Delvin. And he should have some more work for me. Delvin, where is our friend? I think he's probably sleeping. It is the middle of the night after all. Oh, here we go. Delvin! Still have quite a good bit of jobs available, if you're looking for some extra coin. I'm always interested, Delvin, but we'll get on to the small jobs in a moment. I've returned to tell you that that special job in Markarth is done. We should be all set up in the City of Stone now. I hear Endon's quite pleased to have his merchandise back. He's a powerful ally in Markarth. Should help the Guild regain a foothold in the West. We're still growing by leaps and bounds thanks to you. And other merchants moved into the space outside the Flagon. You're a natural. Never seen anything like it. We got a long way to go. But don't let that bother you. It's a lot farther than we've been in years. Progress is step by step, Delvin. I know better than anyone that we're not going to get rich overnight. But on that note, I wasn't only busy taking care of that special job in Markarth. I did a lot more heavy lifting while I was gone. Numbers, bedlam, heist. You name it, I've got a lot of stuff done. Here's the proof. I don't know what you're made of. But I've never seen anyone tackle this many jobs without ending up dead or in jail. We got half of Skyrim back under our wing, and the coin starting to flow. There, if you're ready, I've got another special job for you. Good. I can only take so much tedium of the menial jobs before I go stir crazy. What is it this time? Got word from Torsten Cruelty in Windhelm that a rival guild is trying to get itself started. Not only that, but they're giving us thieves a bad name by murdering their marks. Get over there and see what you can do. Oh, not so friendly competition. Don't worry about it, Malroy. This will be taken care of in no time. And if a light touch isn't good enough, I'll be certain to use a heavy hand that will ensure that we're the only operating crime syndicate in the entirety of the province. Just leave it to me. I'll be back when the job's done. Don't forget you're representing the guild. Don't do anything stupid. Oh my word, like I said, just long trip after long trip. 
Rift into Windhelm is a pretty long walk. Morning. I have walked all Let over this entire... Anything, take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Yeah, yeah. All over this blasted icy landscape. Here we go. I own Hollyfrost Farm outside the city. It's honest work, if a bit dull. The cruel seas have been sailors for generations. In truth, I regret not following in the footsteps of my ancestors. Well, we all make choices we have to live with. Which is actually the reason I'm here. You chose to contact Delvin Malaroy about a job. And I'm the one he sent. What do you need done? My daughter Fiotli. She was murdered a few months ago. Left her laying on the ground in a pool of her own blood. I assumed they were after her valuables. She always wore far too much jewelry in public. Then I told her it'd be the death of her. I never thought... I'm sorry for your loss. But I can assure you that it wasn't the guild that did it. It's not our way, and bad for business. No need to explain. I'm well aware of your guild's methods. It took me weeks, but I finally tracked down the killer. A bloody Altmer at that. Can you imagine? <laughs> An Altmer. Yes, I can imagine. What's the story with him? Let's just say I'm a firm believer in an eye for an eye and leave it at that. He fancied himself a thief in some sort of new guild forming around here. Gave me some valuable information before... Well, you know. I see. What are you wanting me to get done then? Well, like I told Delvin, I think we can help each other. You recover what I'm looking for, and take out a rival guild in the process. Your daughter was killed for her jewelry. You want it back, don't you? Exactly. One of the pieces stolen from her was a silver locket. A cruel sea family heirloom. I want it back. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think that the trade is fair. Even though I'm the one doing all the work. What can you tell me about where they are? The only name I have is Naranya. Has a house right here in Windhelm. That's where you should begin looking. Should have been an adventurer like you instead of a farmer. Huh. We all make mistakes. I made my fortune as a sea cow, but now I'm retired. Yes, can I help you with something? Yes, you can, Niriana. I'm here about Fiotle. Fiotle? Fiotle. Where have I heard that name? Oh, of course, the poor girl who was murdered. Such a beautiful young thing. A tragedy, to be certain. It would be in your best interest to drop the act. I know that you're involved in what happened to her. How dare you! You're accusing me of taking part in such a... such a heinous act? I should have you arrested for even suggesting such a thing. No! <laughs> Is that so? Well, I have news for you, Niriana. You're a half-decent thief, but you're a really bad liar. In fact, why don't we get a guard over here right now? Guard! Now, just a moment. Let's think about this, you know, discuss it like two rational people. Much better. Get talking. Look, I had no choice. They're crazy. I could be killed! Crazy? Who's crazy? It's a guild of Ultima thieves. They call themselves the Somerset Shadows. Their leader, Linway, he's the worst of the lot. He steals valuables from the dead. The dead? Do you mean that he's a grave robber or that he prefers to loot people after he slit their throat? No, Linwe prefers stealing from the deceased. Digs up the corpses, breaks into the hall of the dead. He even stole that locket right off that poor murdered girl's body. Or what was left of it. And how exactly did you get involved with Linwe? I used to fence for the Thieves' Guild in Skyrim a long time ago. When Linwe moved into the area, he contacted me and said if I didn't fence for them, he'd kill me. Well, it's your lucky day, Nariana. You've gotten yourself caught between a crime syndicate and a bunch of hacks. Tell me where they are. If I tell you, you need to promise not to kill me. I'd prove to be quite an asset to the Thieves' Guild. I'm one of the best fences in Skyrim. Niriana, if you really did work with the Thieves' Guild, you know that helping me out is in your best interests. And you know how we work. <sighs> Linway is holed up in a place called Uttering Hills Cave. 
He's got his entire guild there, so be careful. After you're done with all this, come back any time and I'll, I'll make good on my end of the bargain. Oh, trust me, I will be back. Before I go, though, what exactly happened to Fiotle? The person who set me off on this job didn't exactly give me any details of the girl's fate. I don't know. Rumor has it she was murdered, butchered by a madman. <laughs> I really try and stay out of such things. Torsten might think Linway or myself are responsible for Fjordly's death, but I can assure you nothing could be further from the truth. There you go again, lying whenever you're bad at it. I would stop that if I was you, Niriana. It's going to get you in trouble. Something else that I'm curious about. The Dark Elves here. They're treated pretty poorly. And with the way that Ulfric thinks about the Thalmor... Well, what type of treatment do you get, being an Altmer and all? It was difficult at first. The Nords of this city are at best suspicious of outsiders. But in time, I made the right friends and proved myself useful enough that they don't give me trouble anymore. The Dark Elves are too proud and naive to understand the way things truly are, and so they continue to dwell in that slum. I think that that's a perspective that only an Altmer could carry, Niriana. How long have you been here in this town, anyway? Just got here from the Somerset Isles. Lots of opportunity in Skyrim. Hmm. <laughs> You're finding out about that firsthand. And don't forget, I will be back. Don't be running away on me, Niriana. I'm sorry I misled you. Return when this is over, and we'll talk about my involvement in the Thieves' Guild. Oh, check it out. It's an ice cave. I almost never see these types of places. I mean, I, I, I say that mostly because um, I uh, like I actually keep the uh, the music off whenever I play it. Like you, uh, you, you probably a big surprise to you, but like, what is this uh, episode ninety six or something? Ninety six consecutive episodes. I play Skyrim with no music. And I, I added, I add all of it in, in post. So, I, it's very noticeable to me when it's like, oh hey, I can use something other than the, and other than the generic. Oh my god, I cannot hit the broadside of a barn. Uh, it's very noticeable to me whenever I can finally, you know, not use the generic dungeon music. So, stupid. Ugh. I remember these guys. I also remember having a particularly large amount of trouble with, um, their boss, Linway, I think his name was. I remember taking the weapon- I, I remember taking his armor and being like, oh, this is awesome. It's mine. possible for me to add two separate lock-picking enchantments to a, uh, a piece of armor now, because, like, I think his gloves or his wrist, uh, gar his, his braces or whatever, they, um, they have a special version of the lockpick enchant, and I was like, oh, cool. So I'll just disenchant this, and then I'll add that enchant over to, like, a pair of gauntlets or something. And then I'll add another lockpick enchant from another pair of gauntlets that I got, you know, because they're two different enchantments. Um, and so I disenchanted his armor, and then I discovered, <laughs> oh, this is an enchantment that the game doesn't allow you to apply, that the game does not allow you to apply to any other piece of armor. <laughs> like, I was, like, I was so confused, and I, I, I like, I, I tabbed out of the game, and I was like, please hit, please hit. Oh my god, I cannot hit anything. I am not an archer, very clearly. Um, but I remember, like, tabbing out of the game, and, like, looking into the, the meta information, the I'll meta information in on the, uh, what you call it, uh, the wiki, and learning that, um, the enchantment that you get from Linway's armor cannot be applied to anything else. You can't use it at the enchanting table. And I was just like, man, what is this crap? This is absolutely ridiculous and unfair. Golly, just won't die. Well, at least they're easy to loot. I don't have to actually think too hard whenever I take stuff off of these fools. I mean, the cast off is the fact that they don't really carry anything valuable on, the, on them. I can't take their armor. Which sucks in and of itself. Okay, that's definitely the way that I have to go. 
Um, ooh, hello, chest. Oh, so here's something that's interesting. I've uh, I've gotten back into playing uh, an older, well, I say an old game. <laughs> I'm playing a game from 2011. Uh, I, I got back into playing Dying Light recently. I tell you, it's really weird to play to go back and play Dying Light. If you've never played it, highly recommended. Good game. Um, it's a it's a zombie apocalypse. It's a zombie apocalypse game where you free run. You run and you jump and you climb over buildings from a first person perspective. It's really really fun, but. It's weird because the game, it's it, the game world is relatively speaking, pretty small. Like it's it's very strange to come back and play Skyrim after playing through Dying Light and being like, man, Skyrim is big, especially in comparison to Dying Light. But uh, but you know you go and you play Skyrim and then you go play and then I turn around and play Dying Light and it's like, man, this game is small. It's just. It's a matter of perspective, and, you know, it's got me thinking about, um... It's got me thinking about... Oh my god, okay, I have to focus. I have to focus, I actually want to hit this guy. There we go, actually hit him. Thank god. Oh boy, well, you know what, I think I better vacate this place. I got a feeling that there's gonna be a hornet's nest coming out. That and I need to freaking refresh my, uh, armor spell. You can't beat me! Says you! I'm gonna put you down! Ha ha ha! Now that I'm in place, go ahead and get a little bit of help here. You will not survive this, pal. Look at me. I have no perks in one-handed, but I've still managed to increase it to 56. I need to remember to actually um, increase my level because uh, it's, uh, it's been, I, I, like I've been like this for what, two episodes or something? All right, come here. I think that I actually used that poison on my own summon. Die. Oh my word. This is like just crowd control going on. Kind of wish that I had a follower with me as well. Actually, come to think of it, you can have up to three followers at, at once. I mean, technically, you can't have uh, two sentient followers that you can like trade with. Ah, there we go. Jeez. These guys. You can't have, like, two sentient followers who, who you can, like, trade equipment with. Fiotle Silver Locket. Yeah, sure enough. Here we go. Lin, uh, Linway's armor. But, um, you, can, you, you can't have two sentient um, followers, you know, that you can trade equipment with. But you can have... Oh, great. Well, it's a good thing that I have these... There we go. <clears throat> The number one thing that I learned. I learned the, the the trick of like, okay, always have a jewelry on you that increases your carry weight. I learned that lesson from Oblivion. Oblivion was a lot more onerous whenever it came to uh, enchanting stuff. Uh, you could you could create way more cool things. Ooh, hello. You could create way cooler enchant enchanted equipment, uh, and you could even craft craft spells in Oblivion. But um, you weren't able to do that until you got into the Arcane University and you had to go through a bunch of other quests before that could happen. But, um, one of the first things that I learned, it was like, no, always have armor with, uh, like, always have, uh, like, a set of sackcloth that's enchanted to, um, you know, increase the amount that you can carry. Because that, my friend, that is where the real good stuff is at. Um... You, you know, you clear out an entire dungeon, and then when you're walking back out, just go ahead and, like, put on that clothing that increases your carry limit, and, uh, sweep the place out. If I'm not mistaken, uh, the, like, printed Prima game guide that I have, uh, there was a, there was a character build called Loot Sweeper in the front of it, which, uh, was specifically designed for you to be able to carry tons and... Oh, okay, tons and tons of... Oh, hey, let's level up! Okay, okay, we'll grab some health, and, um... Done with alteration, done with enchanting. I'm done with two-handed. Ooh, hey, speech, I'm at 92. There should be another perk here, right? Ha ha ha, fence. All right, I can finally sell stolen goods off to other people. That aren't oh. a fence. All right, there we go. So, um, burn the banner, optional quest complete. Now let's just check to see what other type of little bits and pieces are hanging around here. Ooh, hey! The real Baron Zaya. That is a- oh my god, the real Baron Zaya. I really should bring back- Oh jeez, the D <laughs> He's melodramatic, that Deidre. 
I really should go back and 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 do more episodes of tales from uh, stories from Skyrim, tales from Tamriel. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but it was where I just literally read the books from the game. And um, I gotta say, if I was to go back and like, br if I was to bring that back only for a short time, it would be to read through the entire series of the real Baron Zaya. That is a very very good read. Like. Good enough that I'm thinking that, that that like it's it's on it's on my mind to be like, hey, maybe I should bring that back just for that one book. But you know, I, ultimately, I never really get around to it. Uh, it was a fun series to do whenever I did it, though. Anyways, I am pretty much done here. I ooh, wait, oh, Corundum. I'm done here. I'm done here. Let's get out of this cave, this this icy den, and let's return to um uh. Windhelm, and let's talk to, uh, Krulsi. And, while I'm at it, I think I still have to repair the white file. We need to go and talk to Quintus. Alright, it's back to Windhelm, and get some more stuff done.